If you are trying to lose weight or to build muscle and you are trying to achieve that by training, you are wrong. Without a proper diet, you are not likely to succeed in any of those cases. In this video, I will show you my simple approach to diet and how you can achieve your goals. It is as simple as follows. If you want to lose weight, you have to eat a lot less than what you are eating right now. And if you want to build muscle, you have to eat a lot more than what you are eating right now. The problem here, in my experience, is that people who want to lose weight think that they are eating very little, and people who want to build muscle think that they are eating a lot, and they are very, very mistaken. To start fixing this so you can get some results, let's start with the training part, which is not as important as the diet part. As long as you are training at least 3 or 4 times a week for 45 minutes to an hour, you should be good. You should train hard your whole body, but you don't need specific measures like cardio or high intensity routines for losing weight. In my experience, as long as you are training hard, if you do your diet right, you will lose it. And if you want to build muscle, I have another video where I explain how to make your routine more specific for that goal. With training out of the way, let's see how you can easily change your diet. First, you need to weight yourself to have a starting point. Now, if you want to lose weight, just take what you are eating right now and cut it in half. If you are eating 5 times a day, now you will eat 3 times a day. Breakfast, lunch and dinner and you will drink only water, and of course, nothing in between, no snacks, no drinks. If you think this is crazy, you are wrong. You won't die, you won't have any problem, your muscle won't implode or disappear. If you think you will be hungry, you are absolutely right. Welcome to the world of losing or maintaining your weight. Our bodies are designed for periods where food was scarce you will always have more hunger than you need. If you eat following your hunger, you will probably gain weight. So you will have to adapt and view being hungry as something normal. It's just a tingly feeling in your stomach. You won't die, it doesn't hurt. So adapt and recognize this hunger as a sign that you are doing it right. In my personal experience, for example, I have breakfast around 9 a.m. And when it is 12 a.m. I start getting hungry. But I just ignore it and wait until 2 p.m. when I have lunch. The same happens when dinner time is approaching. As an example, let's say that your breakfast normally consists in a glass of milk, cereal, an apple and orange juice. Okay, so from now on your breakfast will be just the glass of milk and the apple. As easy as that. Then you won't eat anything else until lunch. After two weeks with this approach, it is time to weight yourself again. If you are losing weight, keep it the same. If you aren't, cut it even more. In our breakfast example, we will have just the glass of milk. When you find your sweet spot, you just have to adapt to it and view it as your new way of eating. This is not something you do for a couple months and then switch to your old ways. This is forever and you will be always slim, healthy and you won't have any excess fat. Now if you want to build muscle, you just have to do the opposite. Take whatever you are eating right now and double it. If you are eating 3 times a day, now you will eat 6. If for breakfast you normally have a glass of milk, cereal, an apple and orange juice, now you will have a bigger glass of milk, double the cereal, 2 apples and a bigger glass of orange juice. If you think this is crazy, you are wrong. Bodybuilders do this kind of things all the time or even worse. If you think that you will get sick of eating that much, you are right. You will have to force it a little bit, you will have to eat even if you have zero hunger, you will be sitting in the table for a lot of time trying to finish your meals, but it will work. Of course, try to keep your meals as healthy as possible, eating lots of eggs, vegetables, fruit, meat, fish nuts and seeds. After two weeks, weight yourself again, and if it is working, keep doing it. And if you are not gaining weight, just add even more food. 
When you get to your desired weight, just revert back to your old habits or use my approach to losing weight so you lose your extra fat and get to a great body fat percentage. As you can see, in this case we do cycles, where we gain muscle and some fat and then you lose that fat. There is no way to avoid losing a little bit of muscle, but you will keep a lot of your gains. Some people try to gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. This is possible if you have never done any exercise. But for people with some experience training, this is a confusing approach that will lead to poor results. It is much better to do a muscle building period and then a cutting period where you lose that extra fat. Also, some people are worried about somatotypes. They think that maybe it is different for ectomorph or endomorphs. But it is not. The only difference is that if you are ectomorph, you will find it easier to lose weight but much more difficult to gain muscle. And if you are endomorph, you will find it easy to gain muscle but much more difficult to lose weight. But the method is the same and it will work. So that was all for today, hope this helps you and if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section below. See you in the next video.